Hi everyone. This morning I'm going to do my morning routine with the pigs. And obviously when I come down here straight away I take them out of their cage and they eat breakfast on the ground. Scooby's in um, the playpen that I set up and Reese is just roaming around the basement. Um, it's pig proof down here so they take turns in and out of the pen but most like mostly Scooby likes in the pen and then Reese likes out of the pen. I don't know why, but Reese enjoys more free time. Free roaming around, he is really curious and likes to explore, so he likes to do that. And Scooby mostly is more happy in there because he gets scared easily. Oh, bless you. <laughs> and he only stays like underneath the cage, so <clears throat> I'll start with the updates. Um, they're just eating their breakfast right now. Um, they are eating Oxbow um, adult guinea pig food, and um, in their treat bin they have these nibble rings in their treat jar, and there's still some left in the nibble ring bag. And with these nibble rings, they come with a huge bag of nibble rings for only like three bucks, so that's a really good deal. And then they also are eating their daily vitamin, their multivitamin. This is from Oxbow. It's on the natural science line. Um, there's like a whole bunch of different hay tabs for this sort of thing. And then Scooby's going to be four um, in a couple months, so um, this spring. So I got him senior support along the same line with that. And so that those just go in there and in this mini basket of this one. This has my cleaning supplies and all sorts of different things and another update is that Scooby went to the vet and I got him uh, this well the vet said that um, Scooby I said that Scooby was having diarrhea and he was kind of being lethargic I thought it was something to do with his respiratory a respiratory problem or something so um, I took him to the vet, and the vet, whoops, let me open this quick. Okay, so the vet gave him this, um, it is, let me see what it is, sulfitrim oral solution, 0 0.6 mil MLS twice daily for 10 days, so, um, that's what they gave Scooby and so it just has this and then you shake it really well and then you put the syringe in here if it's perfectly and then they drew a little line well they gave me a line where to fill it up twice daily once in the morning once at night and then I just put Scooby up on that pet bed on the chair on that little dog bed and he loves this. It's a cherry flavored. So he, he just ate it right away. And I love this little syringe. It's perfect. So that was great. And he finished his 10 days just a couple days ago. So that's nice. And now he is feeling so much better. His um, stools are solid and healthy. And Reese just went for his daily checkup. I mean, his, <laughs> his yearly checkup. Um, it was both, it was kind of his yearly checkup and that problem that we were having. So they both had that. And, um, I also got this, uh, accordion file, which is only a dollar at Target in the dollar section. And his vet paper, their vet papers are in here and some brochures from the pet store. And, um, there's just Q-tips in here. And their carrier system was this dog carrier with Reese in here in this pet carrier inside this dog carrier with like towels underneath and then Scooby beside Reese in, in this carrier on towels and then I had a towel over that because it's screenings and it was really cold the day that I took them. And plus the vet hospital, the exotic vet hospital was just across the bridge from us. But um, uh, Reese, what are you doing back there? But, um, the vet that we went to is Laura, Dr. Dr. Laura Toddy. She's number one recommended exotic vet in the area. 
So she is the best vet I could ever hope for. Um, she has such a good personality, and she is so good with guinea pigs. She weighed them, and they both weighed... Um, I could actually look on the papers, but... Um, uh, they're two point something pounds each. They both weighed the same, the same exact. And they also took their, they, she took his temperature, it was normal, and just did, you know, a wellness exam. So, that was fun. And, um, I just have some, um, daily supplies right here, and some clips in here. And, I don't have any hair wrecks anymore, I, I think I already showed you that. So that's just extra hay racks and grids and stuff. And another thing is that I got these absorbent pads for um, underneath their fleece because I was on fleece and then I was off fleece. Um, the vet said that I need to switch bedding to care fresh or have fleece again because I was on pine bedding. Um, and it was, it's bad for the respiratory, so that's one reason why Scooby's respiratory was kind of failing, so. Um, this is just really good, absorbable, washable pads. Um, three of these can fit in their cage at once. It is just, they're huge, and so I have six of these for cage cleanings, and I just have some newspaper and stuff. And up here, I have their Christmas lights on their cage, and their little stockings, which I almost have to take those down now, but I didn't sweep out their cage this morning yet, so forgive me for the mess. Um, they've got their two hay bins and their veggie, this veggie bowl I put hay in, and I'm planning to get another one for Reese, and so they can both have fresh hay over their litter trays, but Reese can also eat out, out of this too. And they are on this cute teddy chevron print uh, fleece, and you can, I fold this in half, so there's like two um, fleece layers, basically, because I have to fold this fleece in half, so that's really good, so I don't have to like maneuver it. Um, and then they have the absorbent pads underneath, and it's been working really well. And today I'm going to clean the cage after this video. The fleece is in the wash still, so... Yeah, and it's a beautiful day out. And they have their little penguins up still. Uh, the collage that you guys been waiting for, for, or I have, but I did it, and it is finished. Let me just show you what it looks like. It is so cute. It's on this denim print paper. And then I put sparkly green paper here and down there. And then so this section is basically Scooby's. It says Scooby. And there's, these are just their fall pictures and one of me with each pig. And then it says pigs and then there's both of them. And then Reese down here. Little Reese, Reese's little name. And so that turned out great. And I really like that. Let me show you what it looks like. It's by their cage. And another plan, future plans for the pigs, is that, um, there he goes. <laughs> I am going to expand it out one more, um, grid, so it's gonna, they're each gonna have a 3 by 3 scenes cage, because I do have, I can afford, I, I can, ha I do have the space to expand it one more out, so, oh, excuse me. So, a little tour of their playpen that I made. Um, <clears throat> sorry if you can hear the dogs up there, but... Um, here we have fleece and a towel down, um, and underneath here are puppy pads. And whenever I clean the cage, I clean their blankets and change out whatever dirty puppy pads are underneath. They surprisingly don't pee very much um, when they're on their floor time. Which is good. And they have these cardboard houses that I made for them. Scooby and Reese. And then a cardboard house right there. They can go through the other side as well. And then over here is a dish rack. With a towel over it. It's blue. And I made this little fleece thing. And they have a fleece ball. A cardboard tunnel. Paper towel. Tube. Um, a jingly cat ball. And... 
in here. This is just their dog crate. And they have a cardboard box for hay, um, because they stay in here on long periods of time. And, sorry about that. Um, they have their water bottle with a little stool. Because they can't quite reach this, this is a little high for them. And they have a rug in here. And they can jump in and out of here easily. And they have a little fleece tie here for decorations. And along the, ca the cage as well. And um, it's secured to the kennel with um, binder clips. And over here it's secured to the cage with clips as well. And if you wonder if there's a, that there's a grass mat there, it's because there's cords, I mean, wires back there, and I don't want him going back there, because he will. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I have pine wood shavings still, it's because underneath the hay is pine wood shavings. And the reason why I'm doing that is because one day, um, underneath the hay in Scooby's tub, there's a pool of pee, and so I had to have something to absorb it, and I didn't want to put towels into there, because that would be just gross, because he pees so much in his litter box. And same with Reese. Well, Reese doesn't pee as much, nearly as much as Scooby does in his, so that's why he has the veggie ball for fresh hay. Um, obviously, I haven't refilled it today yet, but yeah. So every morning, I give them their breakfast, and I put them on the floor for floor time, and I usually sweep out their cage while I'm doing that, and refill their hay or water, or whatever they need to refill, and sometimes I rearrange their cage just to make it more exciting, so, um, and every time they're done on the floor, I clean up their mess, um, sweep it out, you know, and sometimes rearrange their playpen, and so yeah, they love their floor time. And this is a new thing I've been doing floor time with them. A lot of floor time. They do it twice a day whenever I scoop out the cage. Um, and then they usually get veggies at night when they're on the floor and pellets in the morning. So, I hope this video isn't too boring. The fleece is going to get dried and then I'm going to clean the cage this morning. So, um... The updates on Scooby are good. I don't really need to necessarily need to keep that because I'm, he's done with his medication. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you had fun watching this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.